Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on my current favourites. I wasn't really sure whether to do a monthly favourite and by the time that I was able to film this video it had kind of gone past the month so I'm just going to call it current favourites. I prefer doing those anyway because then it can chop and change and I don't actually like a product just for that month if that makes sense. So yeah, let's just crack on. So my first favourite will probably come to no surprise to some of you who know me but um, it's Mary Luminizer from The Balm. I absolutely love this highlighter. It is my absolute favourite highlighter. I just don't use any other highlighter anymore. Max Soft and Gentle doesn't even get a mention. Um, it's just amazing. Like It's the most perfect gold champagne colour for a highlight and it's so pigmented and you hardly need anything. It's around £15 I think. I'll link it in the description box. Um, but I've got my mum using this, I've got my mum's friends using this, and my friends using this, and honestly it's the best highlighter ever. I think I'm going to be doing a video soon on like um, the new technique that everyone's using, which is strobing, because I've been trying that out recently instead of contouring, because sometimes contouring can go a bit muddy and people don't like that, so I'm going to try a video using this one um, and strobing, so stay tuned for that. Next beauty favourite is this sponge. Now this is the beauty blender and I actually forgot to mention this in my America beauty haul. Um, when I went to New York I just forgot that I bought it to be honest. Um, but yeah I bought this one in Sephora and I have used the Real Techniques sponge and it really really doesn't compare to this one. I can see why people have hyped about this so much and they only use this sponge. It is expensive, if you buy it in the UK it is around £20, I got it for $20 so a little bit cheaper. But honestly it's so so good, I use this to apply my foundation most days and the concealer underneath my eyes and it just makes your foundation go on so much easier, quicker. You have to pick yourself up a beauty blender, they're amazing. And I really want to try the little mini ones that you can use for concealer now so if I can get my hands on those I will. Next beauty favourite and I think the sort of last beauty favourite is my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. I never expected to have this in my favourites or in a haul or even own this to be honest because I always looked at it and I thought no like I don't like that palette. I knew that I had to get this when I saw this uh, in Sephora. It honestly is the most beautiful palette I own. It, it beats all Urban Decay palettes, all the Naked palettes, any MAC palettes that I've had. It's honestly the best eyeshadows that I've ever used and they smell absolutely incredible like chocolate because they use real cocoa powder and the pigmentation is just absolutely insane. I'm definitely going to be using this in more makeup tutorials that um, I do but I did use this in my previous one I believe. Um, my favourite shades in here are peanut butter, uh, caramel and butter pecan are really nice on truffled. I really like using peanut butter as a transition with truffle to deepen the crease and this is such a beautiful kind of like lid colour but yeah absolutely incredible. I really want to do a look using this um, blueberry swirl shade because I think that'll look amazing. Next I'm going to be moving on to kind of body and skincare. So for body I have been religiously using this one. I know it might not look like it because Phoebe doesn't tan but it is honestly amazing. This is the Vaseline Cocoa Butter Cocoa Radiant Rich Feeling Lotion and I just use this all over my body. Um, I used it every evening after I was tanning in the sun and I just use it as my body moisturiser when I get out of the shower and things like that. I just really really like it, it's so easy to apply. I want to try the spray version and see if that is the same but I love this one and it's so affordable so get your hands on this. The next is some skincare and I was really struggling um, towards the end of college and exam period with spots and I think it was honestly just due to stress um, from revising and taking exams and things but I speak to the ladies um, at Look Fantastic regularly, I speak to Becky. Becky's really lovely and I was speaking to her about how my skin hasn't been great at the moment ever since exams and things so she sent me over a few of these to try which is the Dermalogica Clear Start range. Um, so I got the Breakout Clearing Foaming Face Wash, the um, All Over Toner and the Daytime Treatment and I was using these for around two weeks religiously before I went to Ibiza and honestly these cleared my skin so well and so fast they are honestly beautiful I've never tried Dermalogica products before this is the first that I've tried and I've heard a lot about the clear start range um, and yeah honestly absolutely amazing so I'm sure that they sell these on look fantastic so I will link the link to look fantastic's website and these in particular down below the next product that I've been trying recently I also did get sent I'm sorry um, I am actually in contact with the girls at Media Hub who are like a PR company and they did send me um, 
some products from Nip and Fab to try because they are partnered with them. And this is from the Nip and Fab Skin Glycolic Fix range. Um, if you've heard a lot recently about Nip and Fab because it has just blown up all of a sudden, Kylie Jenner is like their brand ambassador and she absolutely swears by the Glycolic Fix range. They've had a lot of media coverage recently with this um, from Stephanie Pratt from Made in Chelsea and Lindsay Lohan I believe and obviously Kylie Jenner using the Glycolic Fix range and saying how much it has changed their skin. And I've been sent these and I tried them out for a bit but I wasn't really thinking anything of it and when a lot of people had said more about it I decided to try them again before I went to Ibiza and these pads especially which is the thing that I love the most this is sorry the treatment um, exfoliating facial pads you get 60 pads in a pot I'm really not sure on the price I think it could be around like eight pounds something like that I will link it below but I use these day and night so in the morning before I do my makeup and at night when I go to bed and you just take a pad and you just wipe it all over your face the pads are just really thin they look like this they have like an exfoliating side and just a plain side and they smell really really nice actually and they just have made my skin so so glowy and just like full of moisture I don't know really like what it does so you'd have to read up on it it says on here glycolic acid retextures reservices hyaluronic acid moisturizes and refreshes blue daisy soothes and calms um and that's kind of the ing main ingredients in here but honestly it made my skin so glowy and so fresh looking and every time i'd go to do my makeup in the morning i question if i really needed to put foundation on because my skin just had this glow and it was absolutely amazing it made ibiza so easy didn't want to wear makeup there because it's so hot um, and it, my skin was just glowy and amazing so thank you so much Nip and Fab for creating these beautiful face pads. The last two favourites are kind of electronics, sort of, not really. Um, the first one is my phone case um, and I recently got this. Um, this is from the brand Ico Nemesis and they did contact me about picking a phone case um, and showing to you guys and honestly I absolutely love this phone case. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well but it's um, a white phone case with navy blue um, feathers on it and I think they have an, I don't know whether it's an Etsy store, they just have their own website but um, I will link it down below where you can get this. They do um, this in iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, 5S, I'm not sure about a 5 but yeah I absolutely love it. It's so so soft, like it's really really nice touch. It's quite thin um, which doesn't really um, change the effect like in the thinness of the phone which is what I really really like about a phone case so yes I will link that one down below Ico Nemesis but I've been absolutely loving that one my last favourite is this bad boy here this is my MacBook Air um, I got this towards the end of college um, just before my exams because I wanted um, a new laptop for ages and I obviously wanted one to go away to uni with because hopefully I'm going away in September to do uni work and things and obviously my YouTube, I wanted to try and use iMovie. I'd originally used my brother's to edit a video and upload it. Um, he has a MacBook Pro and it took me, I was kind of scared to get this if I'm honest, which is why I did keep my old one that I could edit videos on if I needed to, but on my brother's it took a good two or three hours to export the video, let alone edit it and then um, like upload it to YouTube and stuff, it just took hours literally it took about two days to get a video up which is just crazy whereas with my macbook air um it takes 20 minutes to export import the video like 20 minutes half an hour to export it and uploading it to youtube is so so fast um so i absolutely have been obsessed with this it is just so so thin and so easy to carry around i love taking it everywhere with me um because it's so good the battery life is obviously really good on it and there we go there's youtube up already um but yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. If you've got any questions about getting a MacBook, if you are confused about what to get, because I know the specs can be pretty intimidating and also like the gigabytes and stuff, um, then let me know. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love my MacBook. It's been amazing to me and made editing and YouTube so much easier. So that's my current favourites, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for a lot more videos to come now that I'm on summer. I will be able to film a lot more and get a lot more content up for you guys, which is what I've wanted. Now that I'm back from Ibiza, I can just absolutely chill and film and yeah, it'll be so much better and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.